Uh, you may be shocked at your recent property tax bill. Many have jumped hundreds or even thousands of dollars. News 8's Garrett Burquest found out what's behind it. Median home values here in central Indiana have gone up by about 17% compared to last year. And some homeowners say they are not happy with what that's doing to their property taxes. And Michael McMahon got an unpleasant surprise when he opened his property tax bill this month. The assessed value that they claim is almost $60,000, $65,000 more than it was last year, almost 20% higher than uh, the previous year. What was your reaction when you saw that? Um, shock, but also uh, assume that this was going to happen because of the crazy market. He's not the only one. Data from the Hamilton County Assessor's Office shows home values there are up by 13% on average over last year. In McMahon's case, that means an extra $1,300 a year in property taxes. That's a little stiff for a disabled veteran on a fixed income. We have a second income with my wife. It's not going to cause us to lose our house or to have to, you know, change the way we eat or things like that. If you make $1,300 in Social Security and you're a single um, older man or woman, that's going to be a significant portion of your net income for the month. Oh, so we're just looking at... Uh, the medium sales price in Marion County. It's a similar story in Marion County. Assessor Joe O'Connor says this year's assessment is based on market activity in 2020. That's because your assessed value is as of January 1st of last year. We've seen this year a low amount of inventory on the market, which seems to be driving the uh, sales price up. Uh, obviously, we have certain areas that are, you know, uh, urban renewal or gentrification. The Hamilton County Assessor's Office says inflation plays a role as well. But McMahon is appealing his assessment. He says he thinks the Hamilton County Assessor took too much of a one-size-fits-all approach. I think they should have um, spot spotlighted on individual homes. They needed to spend more time actually assessing individual properties versus doing the mass evaluation. If you want to appeal the assessment on your home, you have until June 15th to do that. In Fishers, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.